Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. So in today's video I want to share with you a tip on how to make some sales on the auction house without having to undercutting all the time and without having to resetting the market all the time. I'm pretty sure that most of you know that some items can be very very competitive to sell at the auction house and therefore if you actually want to make some sales you will have to spend hours undercutting over sellers. This is the case for instance with the legendary items because there are so many people selling them and crafting them and of course people will spend a lot of time resetting and undercutting over sellers. So if you actually want to make a sale you have to always be on the top and always undercut people. And sometimes, as you can see from here, every minute you can, you know, have many people who will have already undercut you. And this is a very, very frustrating situation because uh, for many of you, I know that you don't have the time to actually, um, you know, undercut people all day long. So you won't be able to make a lot of sales. And that's why I want to share with you a quick tip on how to still be able to make some sales without having to uh, spend, you know, the whole day uh, at the auction house just undercutting and undercutting. So basically, when you're selling your items, most people will only put, you know, the normal uh, buyout price. So, you know, let's say I want to sell this item right now. As you can see, it's only showing me the buyout price. And basically, it will be the price with which people will buy directly the item. But then you always have the option if you're untaking this little box, you can put, you know, a bid price. And this is where it starts to be interesting, guys. So what I do personally for items that are still, you know, like uh, selling for a decent price on the auction house. And when I know I will get undercut all the time, but I'm the same as you guys. I don't have the time to, you know, undercut people all day long. What I will do is that I will simply put one bit price. So when people undercut me, as you can see from here, people will still have the, the option to actually bid on my item because it's cheaper than the one that is, you know, directly available. So as you can see from here, for instance, if I'm going here now, you can see that you can directly bid here and it will then select your bid for 110k instead of paying 130k. So it's very interesting for many people. So that's, you know, the main uh, tip. And now I'm just going to give you a couple of guidelines on how to make it work. So one thing that is important, guys, is to always assess the price of the item compared to the value of the, of the different material needed. For instance, here on this item, it's roughly around 40k to actually craft the item. So that's why I'm completely fine with selling it for 20k less with a bit price because it's still a huge, huge profit. But for instance, let's say you're taking uh, these ones here. Like they're not that interesting. So I won't really, you know, like uh, put um, a bit price because otherwise for someone to actually, you know, bid and wait for the auction to be you know like uh, done and to actually receive the item the, the 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 difference between the buyout price and the bid price needs to be at least interesting so for me it's you know at this 15 to 20k difference it's when people will start you know paying attention to the bid price and will actually uh, prefer this option rather than buying the actually the item directly so you really need to be careful, you know, with uh, not putting a bid price that will just end up, you know, make you lose gold because there is no benefit. Um, so that's why, as you can see from my sales, I'm not doing it with all the different items because some of them are already really cheap. If you're taking, for instance, this elm, it's already only only 15k more than you know the material price so it's not that interesting because if i want to actually put an interesting bid price it will be at minimum 70k and then after that i won't really have any benefits uh, whatsoever so it's not a really good option another very important tip guys is uh, of course the time so when i'm selling you know like uh, like selling some of these items for one of these bid price, what I will do is I will always select 12 hours. Why? Because again, 
people will be mostly interested in you know buying items that they can use as soon as possible so if for instance you're leaving your item for like five six hours then people will be able to see that they will actually receive the item like you know very very soon and the best is when it starts you know being in short so then people will be very interested because they will uh you know like value the difference in terms of price and they know they will receive the item pretty fast here again it depends on your schedule so me i know that for instance if i post something right now at like 2 p.m for 12 hours i will be able to you know reset and undercut actually in less than that so it's fine because the item will still be able to be posted on the auction house but let's say for instance you're living for you know two days for a whole weekend and you just want your items to be there and you want to use the technique then please use 48 hours because even with that you will still have an interesting bid price people some people might still be interested enough to actually you know bid instead of having the item directly and they you know like uh they okay with waiting maybe you know one or two days before receiving the item if it means saving 30k gold for instance so that's my main um my main tip when it comes to you know like uh, what time of duration you should use the best is of course 12 hours but if you're living for you know like more than one or two days then please use 48 hours the goal is to always have the items up on the auction house because also what can happen is that you know like for instance these two uh, items can be sold in less than one hour and then you know why these people are maybe crafting new items and whatever your item will actually have a chance to be sold as well so you always want to have your items up on the auction house but if you know that before the 12 hours uh, expiration you will be able to repost the different items then use that also, one last tip is really trying to have um, at least, you know, two items each time. So here it's not the case because I just sold one. But, you know, for instance, here, this one, I I'll I'll let, um, let it be here. And then I'll just put it another one. So this one can really start, you know, going into very, very short duration and maybe in short. So people will be interested in actually bidding on this one. Why I will still have another one that I will be able to put on top if I, you know, actually want to undercut. And that's uh, like that people will also be interested in bidding on. So if you, for instance, take um, this one, you can see that basically here it's still 44k. And it means that no one has bid it on the item yet. But if you take this one, it's 46k because someone already bid on. So it's very interesting because if you put multiple items, People, they won't, you know, for instance, bid on this one because it means it's more expensive. They will bid on the second one that is, you know, cheap as well. So like that, you can actually, you know, sometimes have a couple of items, the same one that are all, uh, you know, already bid on. And you can start crafting a new one and selling another one because people cannot cancel a bid. You can. So for instance, as you can see here, I can decide to cancel it and it will cost me actually 2,200 gold. But the person who bid it on cannot do it. So this is why it's very interesting, guys, because sometimes even if, for instance, the market is crashing, and let's say that this item actually, you know, at some point gets sold for like 35K, the person will still have at some point to pay me 44K gold for the item because he bid it on. So that's, you know, for me, the main recommendations. When it comes to the duration, always try to put 12 hours and to leave it so it starts, you know, becoming short or very, very medium. So people, uh, you know, have the incentives to actually bid on the item. Always try to have a good difference between the buyout price and uh, the bid price. So for me, as you can see, most of the times it's around 20K gold. Um, and of course, the third one is this bid price should still be uh, interesting enough and, you know, like uh, allow you to make a uh, decent profits. Otherwise, it's not interesting. And finally, if you can put two items on the auction house, one that you're really just not undercutting, not canceling, you will just leave it there. And then another one that you can, you know, always undercut and put on top. So like that, you can at the same time sell multiple items and it's just easier. So here we go, guys. That's uh, pretty much it um, for the video. I really hope it's uh, helpful. I really hope it will help you. Uh, make some gold. 
I'm currently making um, a lot of gold using this technique because unfortunately I don't really have the time to uh, play a lot and to undercut uh, you know, all the oversellers on the auction house. But as you can see, here it's only one, but uh, from the past three days, I sold probably you know around 10 items like that. And it's still very good because you know, like I'm not doing anything and people will just bid on the item. And yeah, it's a, it's a good way to make some gold. So as you can see, it's uh, working pretty well for me. And yeah, I really hope it will help you make some gold without having to invest too much time, especially in items such as the legendary items. But of course, it's also working with mounts, uh, with all different items, just not the materials. So here we go, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will try to come back very soon with uh, more ideas on how to make some gold uh, in the patch 9.0.5. Uh, and yeah, I also hope I will have more surprises for you uh, in the coming weeks. Okay, so in the meantime, guys, I wish you a very, very happy weekend. And yeah, I will see you all very, very soon for another video. Bye.